Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another hip-hop video for y'all. I was wanting to do my review on this classic album. Now, this is not a new album. This is an album that had dropped back in 2003. But, yeah, ba back in like the 90s and the early to mid-2000s, that's like when... That, that that's back like when hip hop was still like in good shape because right now hip hop is is in bad shape. I mean, back in two thousand three, you didn't really have rappers wearing skinny jeans, and you also didn't really have rappers wearing skirts or dresses or getting their fingernails polished or whatever. Like you had rappers that wore white tees. You had rappers that wore baggy jeans. You had rappers that wore Timberland boots. And then and they also wore like big shirts, like three XO shirts, like rappers. They wore a lot of baggy clothing back back in like the nineties and the early to mid two thousands. I was wanting to do my review on this on this rap group now as a rap group i think they only released like a couple of albums but the album that they released back in 2003 this album is a classic album i was wanting to do my review on g units classic album beg for mercy my fellow G Unit fans, let's have a discussion about this. My fellow 50 Cent fans, my fellow Tony Yayo fans, my fellow Lloyd Banks fans, and my fellow Young Buck fans, let's chat. Let's have a discussion about this. Do you feel th the album Beg for Mercy by G Unit? Do you feel that this is a classic album? Let's chat. Let's have a discussion. But yeah, here's my review on G Unit's album Beg for Mercy. This album is a classic. As you can see in, in the title, yes, th th this album is a classic. 50 Cent, Tony Yayo, Lloyd Banks, Young Buck, back in 2003, like, like there was no other rap group that, that could really, like, like, really mess with G-Unit. You know, I mean, it, like, as a rap group, G-Unit was, like, unstoppable. I mean, back then, like, the whole Shady Aftermath, the whole Shady Aftermath, and the whole G-Unit, yeah, the whole G-Unit Aftermath, Interscope, like, they was unstoppable. But, yeah, the album Beg for Mercy, this is a classic, phenomenal masterpiece this is like a mixture of gangster rap. This is like a mixture of like of like rap and like R and B. Like you know, what I mean, they have like gangster rap songs, and then they have like songs where they pretty much like change the style up a little bit from from the gangster rap. Because because if you listen to the song Groupie Love, like yeah, like like that that song right there. Yeah, like like you can change you can tell that they changing up the style a little bit from from gangster rap to just regular hip hop. But yeah, G Unit their album "Beg for Mercy." This album is is amazing. Like back in two thousand three, G Unit was a rap group that was unstoppable. Fifty Cent, Tony Yayo, Lloyd Banks, Young Buck. As a group, all of them together, they was unstoppable. But yeah, yeah, the album Beg for Mercy, this is a classic masterpiece, phenomenal. I mean, with with the way rappers be be releasing albums these days, like I honestly don't feel that like I mean, well now these days you don't really like have any like rap groups. I mean, you have like the Migos, but uh, yeah, um, Takeoff, he had passed away, God rest his soul, but even with the Migos, like, the Migos, the Migos, they, they couldn't really make anything, like, better than, than G-Unit's Beg for Mercy album, there, there's honestly no other rap group, I mean, if there's, like, any rap groups in the rap game today, or if there's, like, rappers in the rap game today that's thinking about forming a group, they yeah they can't really make anything better than G Units Beg for Mercy album now Slaughterhouse their album Welcome to Our House Welcome to Our House is a dope album and 
But I, but I honestly feel compared to G Units Beg for Mercy, I feel that G Units Beg for Mercy album is better than Slaughterhouse Welcome to Our House album. But yeah, G Unit, their Beg for Mercy album is phenomenal. And and also too, like the song too, the song G Unit, that song right there, that right there, it, it, that that song is hard. That song definitely goes hard. Like, like, like that right there, it can definitely get you, get you motivated. It can get you pumped up. Like you're, a, you know, it can really get your adrenaline, like, you know, like running through. It can like get you excited. But yeah, the song G Unit, that's one of my favorites on the album Beg for Mercy. That song right there is phenomenal. It goes like so hard. But yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, G Unit, their Beg for Mercy album, I'll give it, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. I'll give it a 100%. And that's another thing too. 2003, this was during a time where when it came down to rappers beefing with each other, the beef was real. When it came down to rappers going to certain areas where where the rapper that they was beefing with was gonna like be at they had to be extremely careful they had to have like certain people around them they had to like really watch their surroundings because if they was gonna go to a certain area where the rapper that they was beefing with was gonna be at or if the rapper that they had beef with like their people was gonna be around they had to make sure that they had people around them too you know, I mean, that's how it was back in them days when rappers had beef with each other. You really had to watch your back and you had to look out for each other. You had to have people around you that was trustworthy. But you see now these days when rappers be beefing, some, sometimes it be cow. You know, I mean, because just like the beef between Meek Mill and Drake, like... Yeah, like like the battle between Meek Mill and Drake wasn't as real as the as the battle between Fifty Cent and Ja Rule. Even the beef between Pusha T and Drake. Yeah, the battle between Pusha T and Drake. It wasn't as real as the battle that Fifty Cent had with Ja Rule either. And, and to tell you the truth, e even the beef that Fifty Cent still has with Rick Ross. That beef is not as is is not as roll as the beef between Fifty Cent and Ja Rule. Like like the the beef that Fifty Cent had with Ja Rule that was like one of the realest beefs that Fifty Cent was ever into. Now the beef that Fifty Cent had with Fat Joe and Jada Kiss was roll too, but it's not as roll. It's not as roll as the beef between. It wasn't as roll at the beef between Fifty Cent and Ja Rule. But yo, G Unit, their album Beg for Mercy, that album is phenomenal. It's a classic. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video. Love y'all.